Do you think you are in part a sociopath? No. Would you know it if you were? Yes. How does this work? So what have you learned from reading this book? I had all these interesting thoughts, of, uh, all these sort of questions and thoughts about it because um, the book I'm reading now that I'm only about a third of the way through, she talks about um, some of the things in the brain structure that are particular to sociopaths. And so then it makes you think, well, what if that could be tweaked in some way? Like, could you unsociopath a sociopath? Is it nature or nurture? I, I suppose is the question. I think it's both. Um, I think it's genetic, and then it's like genes that are turned on if, mm -hmm. um, by things like a particularly violent childhood or some sort of a dysfunction. So I think somebody could have the gene, it's not turned on, and then um, the sociopaths have the gene and it's turned on. So, so sociopath means that you're not able to be empathetic or you're generally not empathetic to the to the suffering of others or to the mo emotions of others. I mean, what It's a uh, hollowness, so it's like uh, you don't have um just completely lacking the capacity. I mean, it's tragic because they wouldn't understand or feel love, but it's like a hollowness. Um and and then something also about the wiring and I think also because of that hollowness they're able to incredibly quickly look at others and identify their insecurities and buttons and weak spots. So they're incredibly good at manipulation. Is that because they're just able to objectively observe the situation? I wonder. Probably what, what? in part, but there was some other explanation related to the brain structure that I read somewhere that made sense to me. And I won't like remember it because I don't usually. You're not Andrew Huberman, who seems no, to reference like, I'll listen to perfectly his, yeah, I'll, every we, single line from every book or, or paper he's ever read, yes. Right. I don't remember things in that in way. I try to usually remember the conclusions. Right. So, like, I might remember that he, he might give a whole long explanation about why it's good to do this or to take this supplement. That's a bad habit I have. Sometimes I'll order supplements, and then by the time they arrive, I've forgotten why. Why? <laughs> I forgot why. Just take them all. Supposed to Paris Thompson, but the healthy version. I hope we get to talk about food, because I feel like yes, you have a lovely. brain that should be fed only the best food. Oh, wow. So we can talk about that later. I have a lot of philosophies about that, but certainly fluff is not in the best what is best. We'll definitely talk about food um, throughout what is best. Um, <laughs> that makes me think of Conan. <laughs> and I just talked to Oliver Stone, who I didn't realize wrote Conan the Barbarian. Uh, Do you know that in my head, I I pictured Conan O'Brien. That's what. <laughs> so, <laughs> He's also I, I one of the funniest. Going, Wait, why is I love him? But I, when you said that, I, I was like, why much. did that make you think of Conan O'Brien? Yeah, yeah. I love him so much. He's such a brilliant human. Yeah. <sighs> Sociopathy. Sociopathy. Yeah. So it's stuff about the brain, fine. But how do you know you're not a sociopath? Would you know it? How, am I a sociopath? No. How would I know it? How do, you, how do you know? Well, having listened to a lot. Well, wouldn't I be able to be good at faking it? Isn't that what? Well, because the, you there's would a be mask out there. on the cover of this book. I don't think you lipstick. would be doing the work don't that you're doing. You'd probably be running for office or, you know, a trader on Wall Street or one of the things about sociopaths is they um, they kind of need like the stimulation of risk and danger. Um, well, I uh, need, okay, sure. More like than it. average. I like, mm, okay. But Wall Street, there's a fakeness. Like I don't like the fakeness of Wall, the game of it. Yeah, that's why I left. I didn't, I just, it was a strange environment. Okay, so you're not, you're not a, quote, defective, arrogant sociopath. What does defective even mean? I know. Well, I think that somebody had just called me that. And yeah. I think that, you know, it's easy for people to say, like, don't read the comments. But it's hard not to, because then also you'd miss the beautiful ones. Yeah. Um, or sometimes, like, you have to go on there to, to check a private message and you just stuff. It's there. People saying terrible things. So um, I try to... People say, you know, don't pay attention to the comments. It's hard not to, but I try to 
even with the documentary, you try to still kind of see to look to look for the for the good ones, for the kind ones, for the supportive. Well, there ones. were overwhelming kind comments, and so that that helped and felt a lot better. But sometimes, um, sometimes the the negative comments are based on you know they're based on false information. So if somebody under if somebody knew everything that happened and then wanted to judge me or say things like that's somehow at least that's all right but um so you think people saying these things based on um things that are totally false is just yeah mm, it's hard it's it's hard to just let that go um yeah but, but i know that people also say things you know for their own personal Reasons. I had a fascinating exchange with somebody who direct messaged me and s- called me trash. Um, and you responded. I responded because it was. I, we... No, it was amazing. Yeah. So okay, I would do it's this a good once in a while. It's sort of like a. I might be procrastinating, or but I would scroll through because the private messages were overwhelming, and there's still just this massive backlog that I'll never probably get to read. But the one that called you trash as a, as a pickup, as an opener, you were like, this is interesting. I just was in a mood. Yeah. And so I responded, and I wish I hadn't deleted it, because I, I sort of deleted a bunch, and then I was like, oh, why did I delete that one? Because I was curious what exactly I said to him. But I responded to him um, in a nice way, and then he responded back, and then it started this whole back and forth conversation. Um, so he was kind quickly, or no? Yes, and then also like wanted to get to know me, and lives in Pennsylvania, and was like, "I'll come to New." And I'm like, yeah. "You realize if we, you know, if somehow this just yeah. turned into like that would be our how did you meet story." Well, he called me trash <laughs> online. Yeah. That's but, a pretty good. But yeah, he ended up having such an insightful comment i just found it interesting and i think yeah. he first he said i never imagined you'd reply which is yeah. you know it's like part of the whole thing with social media although this guy wasn't anonymous um was not anonymous no he had a i think he had a private account but it's like his name and his face was there yeah people forget that you're a human being when they message you exactly folks when you message me i'm a human being so i told him that that was you know like that that i was hurtful yeah and um and I guess I wanted to understand more why he said it. And it was surprisingly insightful. But he said something about, again, I wish I hadn't deleted it, that he um, he was like, I guess I was just angry because, um, like, that guy, he said something like, I guess I was just angry because that guy got you. And oh, wow. I would have, you know. So it made me think of the whole, like, sort of, incel jealousy thing that can be very terrifying if you're female is that like if you reject a guy they might turn around and be violent or angry at you yeah and um so his well to be fair there's a dormant anger in probably all of us i I believe there's a capacity for cruelty and anger and destruction all of us and the whole struggle of life is to uh emphasize the good stuff yeah. Yeah. So it's not just an incel thing. It's true for men and women. Both yeah. are capable of cruelty. That's that is very true. But this one guy, so let me put on my therapist hat. It's, we 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 started what did we start with? Um I already forgot. But the the oh, Keep Leon. Coming back to sociopath. No, the, the, <laughs> no, just um you know, maybe it's not the best idea to answer the comments that start with your trash i don't do it all the time it just i happened upon that one and i was just in a certain mood i was just in a certain mood well let's let's and i like further offline sort of yeah um discuss this mood that you're in because it might get you in trouble at some point in your future 